But we're just talking about uni, uni and stuff, and like where we want to go because the UK is actually quite a boring place. It's so about boring. It. Like yeah. I want to go out somewhere else. Yeah, like, I don't want to be here no more. You know. Yeah. And I just feel like, especially with uni, because obviously, like I said, I'm aiming high. I'm aiming high in in life and everything I do, especially my academics. I aim so high. Mm -hmm. So for me, I want to get into one of the top, the one of the top four I want to do or like and i feel like a lot of the unis here don't really give, give that. You that yeah like I, I have to go to a russell group i have to if i don't get into a russell group i don't even know i think i'd like maybe take a gap here and then try again because i have faith that i will get into one but like i just feel like if i don't go to a russell group then where you know what i mean mm. plan b actually to think of my plan b i'm i was always i'm thinking like degree degree apprenticeship but it's like don't want, really want a yeah. degree apprenticeship like i just feel like i'm not ready for that to be working and then studying at the same time yeah i want it's to, like it's a lot of stress it's a lot of work i well. want to get, like do three years and bam finish and then like find a job you know in a different and like start getting paid and then find my life type thing i'm Travel. so down to move different move to a different country if like that come if it comes if my life comes to that mm. would you move to italy because like no family there like, I want to experience the world. I definitely want to travel. I want to live somewhere by myself for like yeah. a couple of months. Like what oh my old brother's doing. Yeah, but like, you know what? It's, I, this world is actually a very scary place. You know that video Rami sent us yesterday um, about sex trafficking and how oh, it's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, sex yeah. I literally saw another video like that, like this morning, and I was going to send it to the group chat, but I thought, let me not. And it's it's so scary like especially for women it's so dangerous living by yourself and then even moving to a different country that's what gets me like mm -hmm. i want to travel same especially that europe tour i've been talking about doing a europe tour like after a level it's the summer after i want to do a europe tour like each weekend i'm in somewhere else like one weekend i'm in germany the next weekend mm -hmm. i'm in italy um next i'm in like i don't even know sweden, sweden. oh yeah <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah, Germany, I explore, Norway, like, all of the UK isn't it, and the UK isn't like the whole world. And I've even been considering doing a master's in America because, like, just to experience and to feel, see what it's like. I can, mm -hmm. I'm so down to move to a different country, and when I'm older, if I, if I, if yeah. I feel like my life comes to that. Yeah. But, but it's nice to be in a new environment, and then you can compare it to, and then see which ones like. You Especially know, while you're young, you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Like you have that freedom. You don't really have. You don't have no kids. You don't have like anything holding you down you should go and explore the world mm -hmm. that's how i feel about it but i'm getting really far ahead of myself because we got to get to be six from first no because Brie even told me <laughs> yesterday <laughs> you have one year left no you can do it i said one year <laughs> like, it doesn't seem real no because it's it's six form is really really quick compared to gcse's because in our school we started in year nine mm -hmm. so you were doing it for one two three years our gcse's here we're doing it for two and it seems to go so quick even ready almost a year um already almost like a quarter of our way through our whole sixth form experience mm -hmm. and it just seems like the net the coming um year and coming month is going to go so quickly this time next year we should uh, have our, we should have our uni applications um ready the OD, no because the deadline is like in a couple of days literally so, so we really need to be ready and app like put up and then like um uni, uh what's it called we would have gone we to were, visit uni. we would have gone to visit uni that's what we're going to be doing in a few months so we're going to go visit uni go to these open days and everything and then mm. in a year in a couple months we'll be going to uni we'll be 18 we'll be going to uni i'm turning 18 in a in a year you're turning 18 in a year that's so crazy like turning 18 this year <laughs> no, that's what gets me just life life in general it's is, going too quick it's going so so quick like in five years time we would have finished majority would have finished education mm -hmm. starting their life you know getting married yeah. having kids like you see like life is actually very short yeah. you know but hey we need to enjoy it while we still can especially while we're in our youth mm -hmm. like, yeah. I remember when I was younger thinking I want to grow up so bad now and be younger because then I wouldn't have the stress of school and exactly. we're just going to think this again when we're in 10 years time I wish we were go back and enjoy it. that's why that's one of the reasons I don't like it I don't like the feeling of school just drowning me and taking over my whole life because I think about how this 
you never get to be a child again and being a child is only like a third not even a third like it's it's not a big portion of your life being a child i'm still a child. i would still consider myself a child because i'm not 18. <laughs> same no, because i am like i've experienced yeah. nothing of this world i'm i'm innocent to like yeah. the darkness of this world mm-hmm. and i want to i want to like just experience things while i'm still young I want to live my life as a child and that's one of the reasons I don't like school just coming and interfering with that. I feel like school takes so much of my time, energy and just it gives me so much stress. Me. Exactly. It when I shouldn't me. I shouldn't be feeling like at such a young age. The education system it's just like it does to I understand they're trying to make us prepare us for the world and like the economy. But they're not. If you really and truly think about it, they're not really it's just like they're not really preparing us for the wider world. It's no, just they're prepping us for like so we can be helpful in the economy yeah 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 this stuff this is why i prefer a levels in a in some sort of way because gcse mm. i feel like i've been taught anything bro anything no, like it's anything. Said, they use this type of stuff like for example i know you take chemistry but tell me what i was ever going to do with the electrolysis <laughs> you know we don't learn it in a levels do you know good because i was used to it. no i don't think you do actually no i don't think you do actually I know, I'm actually seeing that once you take it up to 18, is in the maths. Oh, that's a bit I wouldn't stupid. mind that though. You wouldn't mind that? I wouldn't mind maths. Like, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. But, like, you see me, I'm not doing it though. <laughs> it's the younger years that are doing it, so. Yeah. Maths is very, very beneficial. But the thing is, yeah, you know, maths looks very good to uni, like maths A level. So, if everyone starts taking it, that means it doesn't look that good. So, then people yeah. are going to have to start taking further maths. So, me. Further math is actually crazy. Maths A level is crazy enough. You didn't even do it for GCC, so you don't have like the little like further maths. Yeah. Further maths, yeah. I remember um, someone showed me like a question from further maths paper, GCC paper. I'm um, seeing so you know how in simultaneous equations you get two. Yeah. I saw three. I said, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Like, that it's, it, it just comes to like, is that science or is it actually yeah. maths? So, like, yeah. Actually but I definitely want to experience the world. That's why I want to definitely try as many things as I can this year mm-hmm. and really just get out into the world. I don't like the idea of just always being on my phone, always scrolling, and there's a whole world out there to explore. There's so many things I haven't mm-hmm. tried. And like just being on my phone, that's why when I see my sister just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling on her phone, I'm like, Lizzie, get up, go read a book. I'm not telling her this just to be annoying. This is yeah, what she doesn't yeah. get. I'm not telling her this to just be annoying. I'm telling her because I want her to go and experience things. Yeah. And I know um, it's hypocritical of me to sometimes say that because a lot of the time it seems that I'm scrolling on my phone. But a lot of the time, like when I'm scrolling on my phone, I'm scrolling for like a reason. Inspir- so yeah. Exactly. I inspiration. need inspiration for my social media. Um, and just like I'm trying to think of ideas. I know sometimes it is just pointless scrolling, which I'm definitely trying to get out, out of the habit of. Or it's just procrastination is the reason I'm scrolling on my phone. But I definitely feel like, especially as I, the youth generation, the youth um, of this age and of this time, like right now, mm-hmm. we definitely have this culture of just scrolling and looking at what other people are doing. I hate it. I hate it. But, and yeah. one thing I remember, like somebody saying to me, is when I was watching a YouTube video, I was like, you're always watching other people live their lives. Why don't you go and live your own? So, like, especially, and that may seem hypocritical of me again because I have a YouTube channel. But at the end of the day, this is me recording what I like. Me exploring the world. This is yeah. me recording like what your I want. Ju- yeah, your my my journal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is literally what it is, and that's what I want it to be. Like, yeah. so yeah, I mean, I just think we should really start to take into account how we spend our lives because it's not always going to be. This is not the life I want to be living. Yeah. Like, I'm at how many years of age? Sixteen and. I'm just in bed, school, home, school, yeah, exactly. home. Yeah, I have like no entertainment, like no hobby, no like. That's what goes I'm doing. Me. Nothing with my life, just Netflix, yeah. schoolwork, and it's always schoolwork. Like when yeah. I'm bored, it's always schoolwork, oh, not like, something is, productive. You know, is that the kind of life I want to be living? And then, you know what got me when my when I went to France, I went with all my two aunties, and my auntie asked me like, "What is your passion?" Silence, like cricket, bro. With I have no passion in life. What are your hobbies? Like, because basically my life has been consumed by school. I think I was so academically validated mm-hmm. that I didn't really consider anything else. Yeah. And that's why I want to do like get into swimming, like doing that regularly. Because I yeah. think that's that will that's something productive for me. Yeah. Or like start going to the gym, or like just yeah. going out more, or like just do any kind of sport. Like I'll just or like just do daily trips to somewhere. Yeah.
and I'm thinking about all the costs of this year like I'm, and I was saying I want to save because I want to buy a MacBook next year for uni, uni. When I, don't teach, mm -hmm. I want to go and do a Europe tour next year all of this is going to cost money and I'm just spending money 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 like <laughs> but yeah and I feel like a lot of the time it can seem like really tough like sixth form in school in general but you know i think we really need to i'm not saying just stop caring about your your a levels in your school yeah. but i'm saying like take that time for yourself and this is why i wanted to like start doing self-care sundays because i felt like my whole life is just most of my week is school so i'm monday to friday i'm at school saturday mm -hmm. i'm working so sunday is really the only day mm -hmm. i have to myself and i wanted to really use that so when i'm like not doing the work that i should be doing during i'm not doing that during the week and i'm stuck with doing it over the weekend yeah. that really irritates me because i'm like hannah look now you're like clamping this all in and i was realizing i've got a lot of stuff to do today i've got a lot of school work to do i'm gonna try yeah. and get it done i've got a test on thursday that i haven't really revised for i've got another test coming up for politics it's gonna take it's just like it's a lot but you know i feel like especially with sixth form people like to exaggerate how bad sixth form is maybe it's because i'm just in the beginning but i think it's manageable it's actually manageable it's manageable but i feel like it can also like stress you out to like at t like it's so stressful like you just when you like think oh, okay i've done everything but then you go back and you actually think i actually have so many things to do catch up with classwork you know try to improve my grade by doing like revision like more revision more revision and like practice questions and like just doing a lot of stuff just to get to that level that you want to be mm -hmm. it's just mentally draining and I'm like i'm actually struggling right now and this is what how many months into sixth form yeah we're like what september october november december january five months five months and we've got another uh, and february the, and march april may seven months and deep deep year 13 like that's gonna be even oh, more yeah these next two years are going to be the hardest years of our life but hey we could do it it's gotta be a mindset child anyway so Ooh, it's cold I'm gonna stop because there's no people coming around. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>